it's in a certain type of person, I think, to feel it. You either do or you don't. I work with the teenagers and I think they, they struggle with that. People express it in different ways. It is an instinct. I can't really describe it. It's just this thing inside us that pops up every now and then. Sometimes I think it's educated out of us. Does religion have any impact on it or is it just human nature? In terms of power, it's seen as a, it's seen as a weakness. But I think that's what's maybe wrong with the world today. Empathy is the ability to be one with the feelings of another. Whereas sympathy to me is really feeling sorry for somebody. It's a basic level of connectedness. How do we ever know what someone else is thinking or feeling since somebody else's mind is unobservable? Well, neuroscience have been able to answer a very ancient, old and traditional question about empathy whether empathy is an emotional or a cognitive process. Empathy is actually a neutral term. The car salesman who is trying to sell you a bad car for a high price needs empathy with you. He needs to understand what gets you going and maybe talk sports with you or whatever you're interested in. So he needs to empathize with you and then he sells you a bad car. We humans are capable of incredible acts of love. At the same time, we are capable of producing incredible cruelty. The whole way we have organized ourselves in the past has been to shut out people who are different from ourselves. If we didn't have empathy, we couldn't have complex civilizations. Empathy is really the invisible hand of history.